Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Confusing Cubes 3, session number two. We're about to go to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion, and it's gonna... Excuse me. I'm not allowed to go inside of the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. I must enter exclusively through the front. All right. I don't have a fast pass, I guess. So, hello? Disneyland? It me? May I enter? Ghost book. Ooh, spooky. If you missed the first part of this, check the link or playlist in the description. And also check out our sponsor, Quality Content at qualitycontent.com for the new drop, which is looking mighty out of focus because that's what's happening today. But if you want to see it in focus, you can do it on the website. All right, what do we have in here? P ghost? Right here, please. Please write in the book. Show yourself. Write in the book. Please write in the book. Paranormal camera can be placed on lodestone. Oh, I'm in a truck. Kentucky Jones says, Oh, it's Kentucky Jones from before. What's up, Kentucky Jones? How scary. Fine ghost, open gate. I thank you. Honk, honk. That's an incredible achievement. Does that do anything? That doesn't do anything. Do you trade for anything, by the way? You don't trade for anything either? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so. Kentucky Jones wants me to go find the ghost in the- Oh, Jason. Yo, you must be the ghost hunter I hired? I have reason to believe that this house beside me is haunted. With your help, I think we can prove this ghost's existence. I have a few tools inside my truck that can help you fi find valuable pieces of paranormal activity. Okay, there's a lot of text here. Holy sweet mother of God. Um, oh, and I- Stop talking, Jason! Jesus! I didn't sign up to write, like, read the Odyssey! One moment! Good lord, dude! Uh, okay. Buh. Oh, and I seem to have lost my spirit spotter and footprint detectors, so I hope you brought your own. Let me explain how finding evidence works. In order to prove that there's significant paranormal activity in the house, you'll need to find three unique pieces of evidence. The ghost will choose three separate rooms to haunt, so it's your job to determine which of these rooms is being haunted by using your tools. Just a reminder, there will only be one piece of evidence for each haunted room. Now you're ready to start your investigation. Place a candle in the kitchen to awaken the ghost. This particular ghost has a great fear of fire. Don't worry, I'll use a radio transmitter to guide you on your hunt. Oh, one last thing, if you need me to explain how any of your tools work, please toss me your item. Oh, it literally is plasmophobia. Oh my god, it's straight up plasmophobia in Minecraft. What the frick is happening? Okay, I can place this on iron trap door, spirit spotter, I got the camera, I got a footprint, it's a motion detector, oh my god, what the frick, dude? Okay, you don't trade me anything, so... We gotta find what room the ghost is in, eh? Oh, it's so dark! Can I sprint? I can't sprint either. Right, that would make sense, but it's like plasmophobia where you're just slow, always. Always slow. Oh! Wait, okay, here we go. I can start the... Is this gonna start the hunt, though? That's kind of terrifying. Uh, are you okay? This house's infrastructure is pretty awful. See if you can use that fire to ignite that candle. I re recommend using a projectile since I don't want you burning your fingertips off. A projectile to light the candle? Oh. Wait. So... Uh... What the frick, dude? Oh, and this could be placed on a lectern to write it, or to... Uh, okay, so I can light myself, so a projectile, huh? Do we think there's like a, an arrow back here that can be shot? Oh, I can just shoot the arrow, I guess. So that's why, ah, uh, okay. Did it illuminate? Nope, this is gonna be a hard shot, dude. Oh, I got it, let's go. Great job, looks like the ghost blew out the candle, so you successfully woken it up. Happy hunting. I remember from that little H-bomb map a while ago that you can use a fishing rod through lava in order to illuminate candles, and then, yeah, you can do it with a bow, too, through fire or lava. Pretty crazy. Hello? G 
Give me a sign. Are you here? What? How old are you? Oh. Paranormal. Whoa, it's actually a camera. That's so sick. Can I, like, see any pieces of evidence with this? Ghost. Right here. Right in the book. Right in the book. Oh, did you write in the book? No, Ghost didn't write in the book. What the frick? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Is there anything... Anything hidden? Any, oh, that's such a good idea. Do not intentionally lose item. <laughs> so... Is... Is this me, or is this... The player? Is it... Is it actually me? Or is it at P's head? Huh? Am I already dead? Am I the ghost? It was me all along. Oh no. Oh god. So anyway, what a what a room this is. This is this looking it's a nice room. Huh? Okay, I know there was a uh, was there a lectern over here? So I gotta write wait, 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 let me just see. I thought yeah, there was a lectern here. Write in the book. Anything? No, the ghost didn't write in the book. Write in the book. Write in the book. Write in the book. What do we have in here? Looks like a bathroom. It is a bathroom. Is there anything we can do in here? That's crazy that I'm already dead though. Oh wait, it's another lodestone. Oh! Oh, I have to actually wait. How do I get it back? Hold on, how do I get it back? Because I already placed it there. Is there a way that I can, um... Whoa! Look at that, it's the ghost. Wait, the ghost is like right there, what the frick? Oh, that was a sight to see, yeah? Oh, that was one piece of evidence found. Only two more to go. Wait, so what was the evidence? That it is visible, like, it's, is that ghost orbs, dude? Do we got, do we got ghost orbs? Do we got ghost doors? <laughs> okay, so we can put this, wait, where was the freaking thing that I can put the thing down? Oh, is it gone there? Hold on. I think the lodestone disappeared in the other room or something like that. Let's see. I guess that makes sense that the ghost would be in the room where it killed me. Um. Right in the book. Start writing in the book! Okay, so what do we do here? White concrete powder. Hold on. I need, oh, there. I think there was white concrete powder in the bathroom. That's a closet. I gotta hide there if the ghost does a hunt. Um, oh. Detecting footprints. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Oh, failed. It's not in there. At least it's not one of the rooms is haunting. Okay, but that's sick that we got one. Okay, so do we find another load? Oh, I assume the lodestones are gonna be gone because we found the room that the ghost was haunting. So now we have to find the other possible rooms where other things will pick up. Can't believe we're playing procedurally generated plasmophobia in Minecraft. It's basically crazy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Footprint failed? What the frick? Um, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Have you got a, there's, oh, there's a lectern in here. Right in the book. Yeah! We got ghost writing! That's two pieces of evidence found. Only one more to go- Behind you- Oh, God. I don't see anybody. It's terrifying. Okay. So that's that done. Ah. Uh, holy heck, Mitt. What do we have here? Is this an ensuite? It's an ensuite. Hello? Dude. No wonder there's a ghost in this house. It's got a whopper. For a drain. Oh my goodness, there's gotta be footprints in here. No footprints? Unbelievable! Okay, we gotta find the room with footprints. It's the only one left. Slightly unnerving there. Oh, yeah, you gotta clean that, dude. Although it's inevitable, you know, you get those places like behind the couch, behind the bed. You know, you just never look there, right? And then under the couch, and it just gets gross. But it's just out of sight, out of mind until you like move or replace the piece of furniture. And then you're like, oh God, how did I let it get that way? Ugh. Okay, what do we have? This has got to be the footprint. This is where it is. This is where it is. This is where the ghost is. 100%. It's got to be. What? No? 
There is simply no way. Oh, is this a pool table, dude? Oh, they got a gamer house. Epic gamer moment right here. Wait, I'm back to the kitchen already? Hold up. I gotta, I must have missed a place. Unless, unless there's an upstairs or something, which I, I missed the upstairs, if that is the case. This place is so dark. Am I just back to the, I'm back to the big bedroom now. Um, okay. Where is the place? Dude, I'm so happy that I haven't been jump scared so far. I was totally expecting, oh, wait. Oh, main hallway. Of course the main hallway would have the footprints. Huh. Whoa. Would you look at that? You can see where the ghost is walking. Follow it. Huh. Oh, it's freaking like ectoplasm or something like that. It's leaving behind. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Looks like this is where it ends. Wait, this is out. It's Jason. Watch Jason's probably the ghost all along. That's three pieces of evidence found. Uh oh, the ghost is about to hunt. Quick, find a small hiding space. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the closet. There's a closet, right? Where, where was the closet? Four, three. Oh Jesus! Wait, I swear to God, there. No! You're still alive. Now, now actually find a place to hide, you idiot! God dang it! I always get hunted, bro. This is just how it is. Okay, I'm going back here. I'm going back here. Dude, it spawned in the bathroom? It actually spawned in the bathroom on me. This is the story of my freaking life. Oh, here we go, here we go. Closet, closet, closet. We're good, we're good, we're good. I was in the wrong hallway. I didn't realize there were two hallways. Bro, it's so dark, it's hard to keep track of. We got this. I'm gonna sip on my soju in the closet. Let's go. Whew. That was a close one. I think the coast is clear. The ghost is clear. You can come outside now. Oh, frick, see, wrong clot, or wrong hallway. This is the main hallway, it's the one on the side of that. Whew. Congrats, you found the ghost. You're quite talented. Bro, plasmophobia in Minecraft. Sadly, that's the last thing you'll ever do. I knew it, I knew it. Jason was the ghost all, it's not shocking. I predicted it. Now prepare to die? Why do you have that weird look on your face? Ghost dead, I saved you, you leave now. Me thank you. How is Kentucky Jones so freaking gosh darn powerful? Just absolutely pummeled the frick out of the ghost in two seconds. Oh my god. Kentucky Jones is an absolute legend. So, what is. Oh, we got an illusioner in here. Oh, look at this room. This is fancy. Kentucky Jones is more important than you think. <laughs> oh, is he now? Okay, okay. Well, foreshadowing there. Look at this room. It's so pretty. So what are we doing? I wonder if I fall down if it's bad for my health or something like that. I probably gotta get up to the center platform and dock to our little illusion or friend I would venture again. Wait, I can't get up there. How do I get up to you, mate? I can't seem to parkour this. Do I get up on here? Why did you make this one and a half blocks tall? Do you not want my company? Like, what the frick is this? Uh... Let me go down. Oh. Hey, man. It's back here real quick, just chilling. Um, what's, uh, can I do, can I do any, like, driving? Oh, does that turn on the headlights? Oh, that turns on the headlights. And the, oh. Oh, geez. I'm just spraying washer fluid, dude. Kind of a waste. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to waste your washer fluid, Mr. Jones. Um, or Dr. Jones, actually, I don't know. Anything up here? Any, any hardcore parkour to be done, do we think? Maybe there's more to this room than initially meets the eye. Maybe that's like, actually what we gotta do is we gotta get way up high. And then after we get way up high, then we can get into where we need to in the next room or something like that. Hmm. Hmm, let's think, let's think. Where could we yeet hardcore parkour to? I probably could have gotten up here already, honestly. This probably wasn't that big of a deal. You get on the roof of the truck. Or just not get on the roof of the truck. <laughs> Don't worry, hold on. I can I can do this. I can definitely do this from up here. 
from over here. There we go. That's so much easier. Um, I bet there is... Oh, yeah, you're so right. Like, I could probably go in the house again. Now that it's no longer haunted... Probably... No, it's still haunted. Either that or they've got a really bad mold problem and it's just, like, actually fogging up the atmosphere and I'm just taking 10 years off my lifespan by walking through there. So, anyway... Very peaceful in here. Yeah, that was definitely within frame before. That was that was definitely visible. I was a hundred percent like that was that was something I could find. Yeah, okay. Oh, Kentucky Jones cookies dash. Does this mean Kentucky Jones is going to kill me? Or am I gonna feed Kentucky Jones? I wonder which. Would you like a cookie? No? Oh. Really? No, you don't want it? What? I'm literally flashing your cookie in front of your face and you don't- he's on a diet. So really I'm doing you a favor, right? I'm- I'm- I'm taking this temptation away from you. As far away from you as I possibly can. The only problem is I can't- I can't eat it. I can't eat it myself. And, um... I don't know if anybody else- was there anybody else who wanted a cookie? For a trade? Hmm, or maybe I just... Mans really doesn't want a cookie. What, why don't you want to, why do you so badly not want a cookie? What the fra- it's literally yummy, it says it on the cookie. Okay. If I go skydiving, do I land in the corresponding place in the other room? I do! Okay, so that's interesting. Does that get me somewhere? Ah, I freaking got it! That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's freaking go. Okay, now I know where that goes. That's a trade for a glass bottle, even though we already literally just had a glass bottle. We had one, and we had to use it for the cocktail. So now I just have to, I just have to spend Kentucky Jones Ancient Gem in order to buy something I already had in my inventory. Now, Kentucky Jones is going to sever my head. Don't demonetize me on that one, YouTube. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, poor Kentucky Jones. Why am I doing this to I don't know what's come over me, honestly. This is really uncharacteristic. I'm normally not a kleptomaniac, but I do like cookies. But I'm also full right now because I just ate dinner. So, hey, uh, you want a cookie now? Would you like a last bottle? Uh, would you like a yummy cookie? How do I get, hmm. Um, I wonder... Let's see. Let's see. Also, there is a question as to if I just enter here... Oh, freaking heck, dude. Freaking heck, dude. It just takes you there. It just takes you there. All right, Bartholomew Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> That's like what I would say. Where did you come from? Anyway, I have a little bit of complication. One of my rear islands is significantly lacking the moisture required to grow one of my favorite flowers. At the time, it couldn't have been any worse since I'm trying to compete with Banda. I guarantee you that that crackpot old wizard and his strangely spinning friend in the room below me have something to do with it. Maybe if I had some sort of perpetually rotating machine, then I could create a rain cloud from all the water vapor in this room. I'm just not sure where to look. The only things I see in here are some super cool looking plants and a salamander on my bonsai tree. Um, I bet I could get Kentucky Jones in here to be a perpetually rotating machine. Is that what you were looking at? Do you want a cookie, by the way? Um nom nom nom? No? Oh. Okay, I can't eat it either, I don't know, man. Okay, let's see. So... I've got to go find this salamander, is what I would guess. Salamander and perpetually rotating Kentucky Jones, most likely. Is there a way that I can, like get up places? Do I have to do probably a little hardcore parkour action? Oh! I need to find something that I can place on blue ice, probably. Either that or, ah, launches me up. Because otherwise I'd get stuck in there. Although I could go to another room to unstuck. But, um, how does I get up to 
see the salamander unless I can go over here. Oh, hello! Lorenzo says, Brr, it's really cold up here in this beautiful bonsai tree. I was really hoping to move to a warmer climate. Uh, poor Lorenzo is very chilly. Look at my poor shivery boy. What do you want? What, what do you want me to do? You want a cookie? I'm trying to offload this cookie and nobody wants it. Is it stale? What's wrong with this cookie, dude? Nobody likes Kentucky Jones's cookie. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Cold Lorenzo, dude, can be placed on sand. Okay, so we gotta move Cold Lorenzo. So hold on. Are we kidnapping? The only things I see are some super cool looking plants and salamander. Oh, just a salamander. It's not his salamander. Like his super duper precious salamander who we're just kidnapping now. No, 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 no. Lorenzo gets to go to here, presumably. And into the sand, maybe? I suppose it'd be, you know, warmer down here. Probably. With really pleasant, soothing music. Uh, is there any sand down here for Lorenzo? Maybe? Maybe not? I'm not seeing a great deal of sand. Hold on, maybe I just overlooked it. Um, if I were sand, where would I be located? Oh, is it in the water? Oh, it's in the freaking water. There's sand at the bottom of the water. Yo, Lorenzo! Oh, much better! Thank you, stranger! Take this funny-looking vine! I found this a sign of my appreciation! I heard that it goes great with the smoothies! tra la 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 I knew where you like to go! I would like to go to Demitown! Wow, Lorenzo's so stoked on that. Thank you, Lorenzo. Now, what can I do with this? A mysteriously buoyant vine. I bet this goes back in the blue room, most likely. Do you like mysteriously buoyant vines by any chance? Are you a fan? Or it doesn't say where I can put it, though, is the thing. So that's a little bit like what the frickage. Um, hmm. Mysteriously buoyant vine and a glass bottle. So I gotta wonder, what would I do with both of these things? Nothing there. Um, I wonder if there's a place I can throw it? Let's see. Oh, it goes great with smoothies. True. Oh, I wonder if I should throw it into the concoction in the previous area. And let's see. Okay, I wonder if it goes well in here. Oh, and then we can bottle that out. Panda, whoa, bro, did you just like add an ingredient? Oh, radical man. Hey, I think the spinning dude in the level next door could really go for a drink. Hook him up, dude. Oh, chaw for real, dude. Fizzy lifting drink. Glowing levitation too and nausea. Can I lift me up though? Wait, that's probably also helpful for me, but okay. Kentucky Jones is going to get elevated, bro. Totally gnarly radical, bro, dude. What do you, do you want that? Do you want that? Yum, yum, day's good. Stomach hurt, me walk. Mm, dummy hurt, me float, me scared. Ah! He's gonna drill through the ceiling. Actually, just straight up phase through it. Okay. Well, how does that help me? How does... <laughs> uh, Bartholomew is looking up at Kentucky Jones corkscrewing into oblivion. That was interesting. Um, that, that's not what I was expecting, but, uh, uh, but this idea might just be crazy enough to work. I've also noticed the spinning villager's altitude increases whenever he burps. Check if he has any, uh, snack stash near his truck. Oh, that's where my cookie comes into play. Okay, so my glass bottle's gone though. So, um, what you're saying is, would you like this? Oh, wait. Oh, he's like actually right over there. What the frick? Can I feed you now? Oh, okay. It's actually working. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, spinning guy. Bandy's gonna freak out when he sees this. Kentucky Jones. Yeah, make cookie. Uh, I can't do fake burps. Raz, my creation! 
Roz! Wait, that's a bit too much. Oh, oh. I busted the door open, that's kind of sick. All right, Bartholomew, I freaking got it. Let's go, dude. You can't really rate a poorly executed fake burp impersonation that doesn't really... Wait, how am I going to do this? What the frick? Well, this just got confusingly cube cubed. Can I, can I enter it through here? Oh. Mate, I swear, dude, we just don't even get to walk into new rooms anymore. We, like, have to use the, the teleport thing. Um... Help! Some weird looking flower trapped me behind this mirror. I'm panicking! Sorry for losing my cool. I was just working on powering this massive machine, but my partner quit on me, so I couldn't finish the wiring. Now it looks like my movements are linked to yours. How odd. Perhaps we can make the best of this situation. It's a magic mirror. This device will allow us to swap positions. Now head on over to that lit red stone lamp so we can begin. Oh, magic mirror. Switch positions with a mirror whenever you want. Whoa. Swapperino. I'm the one in control, though. That's gnarly. Wait, wait, wait. So. Okay. Your task is very simple and intuitive. Reach the unlit redstone lamp on the other side of the room with some trial and error. I believe we can figure it out. Good luck, and remember, I'm with you every step of the way. Okay. A mirror is in a mirror. That's <laughs> such a funny name. Wait. Unlit redstone lamp. Okay, so what's the tricky bit? What's the tricky dick here? All right, Amir, where are we going, eh? What are we doing? So I need to reach that unlit... So what's the problem, though? Why can't I just walk over to it? Okay, what? Oh. Oh, did I have to swap there? Maybe I had to swap when I reached that. Okay. Okay, so now... Oh, all right. All right. That's not too bad. That's not so when we see the puzzle piece, then we just give it a little swap doodle. And that's easy peasy. And then we make it to the end. Oh. Hooray, we did it. Now you're probably wondering how this machine works. I call it the crusher. All you need to do is throw your items below the prismarine first and it should crush them into simplified compounds. However, there's one minor caveat you should know. The Crusher has a tendency to literally crush souls, so unless your items were possessed by a demon or anything along those lines, then it may not work. Uh... Okay. What if I crush me? Wait, how does it work though? How do I turn it on? Oh, do I just throw the item in? What if I throw the magic mirror? Nope, doesn't like that. Oh, well, I bet I could throw some paranormal things in there. Uh, it crushed me and it just gave my camera back to me. Why didn't it do anything with it? Check out that hydraulic press. Oh, it did actually. It just... It crushed me first. I... I see. It crushed me instead of the... Okay, so spirit spotter. So we're gonna get some copper here. Cling! This is so cool. Are those copper ingots? I heard Carlos III is obsessed with those. Oh, really? Is that so? Wait, do we have one on each side? Oh my god, I'm gonna use this one too. How about a bucket? Oh, it only works on one side. Amir... Why is your mirror only one-sided, huh? What the- oh, it just doesn't work with that one, I see. What about the sponge bow? No? Just those? What about footprint detector? I bet that would work. Ah, there we go. Kablamo! And then what about, uh, what about the- what about that- that X? No, it doesn't like that X. What about the, uh, level selector? No, it doesn't like that. Okay, I think I might have gotten everything. So you think I should go talk to Carlos then? Yeah? Oh, okay, got it. I'll go talk to Carlos. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for your advice. It was very kind of you. So, Carlos. What was the voice here? 
I totally forgot. Oh no. Uh, is that copper you're holding? If you don't mind, could you toss one ingot into each of my pipes to unclog them? I know I went back and forth between a couple Carlos voices, so we're just gonna... There you go. I'm cleaning your pipes with some copper, dude. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't know. The, the crusher only crushing haunted items. Kind of weird. So it only crushes things if it has a soul. I have a soul. That's good. Whoa, how did that get in there? Wait, what, what went in where? Who got in what? Oh, netherite ingot. Ooh, that's kind of... Oh, now I see. But now I need to find a smithing table to upgrade my axe. Where is there a smithing table? Is there a smithing table back in the other room, perhaps? This is the incorrect room. I'm getting mixed up between all the different blues. There... Huh. Was, it a, was there a smithing table in the yellow temple underground? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, wait, I'm a freaking ding-dong, dude. I'm a ding-dong. What am I doing? I literally can make it. There we go. Can be placed on red terracotta. Now we can upgrade that axe. Which can... do all the same things that the previous one could. Reinforce Scarlet's axe. Oh, now it's new. Now it's new. It had to take a moment to figure itself out. Um, let's see. It can break red mushrooms and stripped oak wood, which I think it could do before. But now it can be placed on exposed cut copper and copper slabs. Oh, now I see. So we can un un wax or un unoxidize de oh we can deoxidize that up there. Oh, maybe my whole thing is I gotta fix the conveyor belt. This was actually just all for Carlos. All to get his conveyor belt working up and running, dude. Hold on, I can just... Oh my god, this is the most efficient deoxidization of all time. There we go. Yo, it's working! Yes, thank you so much! You saved me a call to maintenance. I heard those guys really suck. Can I go? Oh, I can't go any- Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up! Yo, it's all working. Wait, I'm uh Is it me or are those crates traveling faster than usual? No, no, wait, slow down! The door can't keep up! Oh man. Well, at least one box survived. I quit. I'm sorry, Carlos. I tried to help you out. I really did. I didn't realize that it was gonna blow up the factory and leave you out of a job. Oh, toxic fungus that can be placed on a block of diamond. You know, I've seen that before. I've seen that back at the final room that we unlocked. Sorry, Carlos. I just ruined someone's career. All right, I'm... Goodbye, Flowey. The flower's gone. I'm free. Yo, did I, how am I crushing these rooms so quickly? It's not even funny, bro. Felt like a reward for a job well done there. Oh. Pierre says, man, it sure is boring around here now that Louis is gone. No oh, great, here we go again. <laughs> He's about to fall. Oh, he's gonna go up. It's like the opposite of what happened. Ah! Oof. I'll be honest, that was actually pretty graceful, bro. That was pretty graceful. I feel like there isn't quite as much going backwards to the rooms and finding stuff. Um, but I don't know, maybe things are gonna start getting gnarly as we go. But boy, oh boy, these guys, they got some lines. They got some lines. Finally, you're here. Are you ready to paint the best painting in these three paintings? First, you're going to need a blank canvas. I think I have a spare one beneath my palette, but it is protected by a colorful combination lock. Here, wear these paint-absorbing boots for guessing the combination. Just push that button whenever you're ready. I hope you have good memory. All right, so hold on. Uh, where are the, the, the boots? The boots, eh? 
All right, so this is going to, so you've got a combination lock. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, what, what the frick? Wait, what do you, wait, how am I painting vertical? Wait, how am I like walking on this? Wait, what is going on? What am I doing? I don't know how this works. Where do I like go like that? No, wait, huh? Wait, 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 wait. So it's like, oh, okay, great work, one out of six. Oh, okay, red, green, got it, got it. I'm not actually painting yet, I'm just unlocking the thing. Okay, red, green, orange. Cool. Red, green, orange, purple. I'm trying to do this without having to, you know, type it in chat. Red, green, Orange, or accidentally walk over something that we've already walked over. Purple. Green. Orange. Purple. Blue. Red. Green. Orange. Purple. Blue. Red. Green. Orange. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Wow, it used one of each. Red. Green. Orange. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Wow, I unlocked the painting. You did it. Fantastic. Now you'll need to replicate my artwork on your canvas. I'll go one step at a time so you can follow along. Oh God, okay, okay, I gotta keep this in mind. Uh, okay. oh frick, wait, what? Hold on, you cannot, you cannot do this while I'm also reading in your voice, okay? Anyway, just make sure to place your canvas beside mine when you're finished. Now watch and learn. I just realized you don't have any paint. No need to worry, I've got you covered. As you can see, there are four paint buckets behind you. Each bucket contains a replica of level it represents. Go ahead, enter one of the buckets. Uh, oh, dude, we found a paint room in Vault Hunters. That's so sick. Wait, I'm gonna enter a buck. what? Each bucket contains hidden block that is surrounded by paint particle. Once you find the hidden block, travel to exact location in real level. Make sure you're wearing your paint absorbing boot. If you are in the precise location, your boot should absorb the color of the level you're in. Find a way to wash these boots and you'll have you'll be able to paint your canvas. And as always, have fun. What the heck, mit dude? Wait. I'm um, so con- holy frick, what? Bro, I've got no idea what the frick is happening here. You what, mate? Wait, do I gotta like, use the fence gates in order to go up? I gotta do like a crazy fence gate parkour situation, that's exactly what I gotta do, isn't it? Wait, is it not working? What? No, frick, no, god dang you freaking idiot, why? Stop! No! No! Wrong fence gate! Frick! Oh, you can do that. There we go. Wait, what is it? Oh, there's literally nothing. Wait, I didn't unlock purple? Oh! Hold on. Can be placed on block. Um, how do we go back now? I didn't realize I was supposed to walk into. I just thought I was supposed to walk into like whatever I wanted to. Um. Uh. Eh. Uh, oh yeah, just go. Just go back this way. Okay, got it. So I need to find. I need to do the red thing first. I didn't realize it was. Bro, there's like it's it's a novel every time. Um. Each bucket contains a replica of the level it represents. So I'm confused by what that means, but... Any oh, okay, I see. Got it. Literally, I hadn't... We haven't been to the purple level, so I didn't really understand. But now I see. It's supposed to be like the mushroom level. Got it. All right, let's see what we have here. Hmm... So some kind of glowing block skidoodle, huh? Some kind of glowing block skidoodle surrounded by paint particles. Um, okay. So we gotta find it here and then go to that area. 
um, in the actual level one or two, I guess. Um, so let's see, where would, if I were a hidden paint particle donger, where would I be? That's what I don't know. I do not see the paint particle thing. Hmm. Yeah, I was just confused how it was like, it, it went from him painting and then he's like, uh, yeah, just go. Oh, I see something over there. Okay, how do we get over there? It went from like him doing a painting to, yeah, just jump into some paint buckets. I'm like, uh, okay. I'm not sure how the two are, are linked together, but um, roger that, Captain, roger that. Okay, so I need to go here now in the actual red level. All right. So let's see what we got over here now. And was this, this couldn't have always been here, right? This has gotta be like a new thing. Ah, oh, now my boots are painting red, I'm assuming, yes. Okay, so now I'm assuming I head back to Vincent. Excuse me. And now I paint them or Something like that. Um, okay, so... Make sure you're wearing your paint absorber if you're in the precise location. Um, find a way to wash them, and you will be able to paint your canvas. Why does washing the boots allow me to paint the canvas? Wouldn't that just get rid of the paint? But okay, not gonna question you and your methods, Vincent. Gotta find a cauldron. I guess I could wash them in the... freaking. Uh, uh, in the pot, the thing, you know, the, the cocktail, the concoction. Let's see if I can wash it in the concoction and see what happens. All right. Hey, uh, yo, Banda, you don't mind if I just, uh, add some paint here, do you? Cool. Oh, so it just, like, gives me the red dye. I got it. Mm, just put my nice dirty leather boots I've been walking all over the place into the concoction. I band, I, you're not still planning on drinking that, are you? Because it might have some lead in it. But who knows? That might be the least of your concerns of what the ingredients are in that thing, dude. Oh, that's some freaking mystery juice, if, if you ask me. All right, yo, Vincent, I got it. So what do you want me to do? How do I paint the canvas here now? What do you want from me? I feel very silly, because I'm not entirely sure still how we're supposed to do this. Um, oh yeah, play, so this goes down on, ah, we do it there. Looks like you made a mistake. You should wash that off and try it. What do you mean I should, oh, I do it in the loom and then I hang it after it's done. Ah, now I freaking get it, bro. Now I freaking get it. We're emulating it with the loom and then, ah. Great work. Step two. I did not realize I was emulate with loom. That is very smart. Okay. I understand everything. It all makes so much more sense now. Okay. I go in, I go in yellow, Vincent. I figure out. I, I get this. I understand now what is happening. I appreciate. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. I have gone into a pretty, pretty cool Vault Hunter's paint bucket room. This is very exciting. I mean, why am I still speaking like Vincent? I don't understand. Um, okay, so I if I can't go underneath, then it's gotta be, oh, it's literally just right there. Okay, easy peasy. That's a much easier one. Oh, I like how it just tells you like where you need to go. Was it here? Yo, Lorenzo, I hope you're, I hope you're chilling having, oh wait, was it here? I think it was here. No, God dang it. I don't know. It's a, so, it's symmetrical, bro. I don't know which one it is. Oh, there it is. All right, we're good. We got it. And then back back over to here. Man, this is a multi-step process. Holy heck, Mip, bro. Yeah. Banded. Maybe don't yeah, maybe I'll spice up the drink a little bit more, you know? I'll give it more of a more of a kick. Give it more of a kick than it had before, bro. It's gonna be tasty. You should tell me how it is once once you're done. I bet it's gonna be great. Okay. So, big old yellow stripe down the middle, eh? What are we looking at here? Nope, definitely not like that. 
Is it just gonna be a center stripe or is it gonna be like, no, definitely not like, is it gonna be, no, definitely not gonna be like that. Um, hold on just a minute. No, not gonna be like that. Frick dog. Uh, oh, is it that? Wait, is it that? Is it a, is it a middle stripe? It's just a middle stripe. Okay. Just a middle stripe, I suppose. So like that. Um, tell me it's right. Tell me it's right. Because it's, I feel like it's wider. It's a very wide boy here. Rather than it being completely even here, but... Wonderful. Time for step three. Okay, this is very good. Wow. Vincent, that is just the most complex, impressive painting I've ever seen in my life. How on earth did you come up with that? I can't even imagine the type of genius that goes through your head to create this. Wow. The inspiration. The inspiration is inspirational. Ah, yeah, I see it. It's right up there. Okay, easy pee. I had a feeling it was going to be up, so. And then it's just, oh, I like how it just puts you right here. That's very nice of it to do. And we go up a little wee bit, and then we go right over here. And then, wait, oh, I probably got to be having my boots on. And then we head over. It's where Lorenzo was, dude. There we go. That's so cool. And now, all right, Banda, this, he, your stew is gonna be a masterpiece, okay? No one, no one has ever drank something quite as delicious as this before. I'm so envious that you get a chance to try it. That's so good for you. Mmm, 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 delicious. Alrighty, Vincent, oh, I'm totally, man, this is gonna be just so good. This is gonna be such a masterpiece. Right here? Yeah? How about that? How about that? You think this is good? This working for you? Well, what a masterpiece. I feel like it may be missing something, but I'm not sure what. I think what we need is... INSPIRATION! Wow. Inspirational indeed, dude. That is so... Omega inspiration. I'm gonna go into the next room. I'm gonna... I know we'll be back here. I see that purple paint bucket. I see that purple paint. I know we're... Wait, what, by the way, what can we... Oh, we're gonna need this back here at some point to add another step. Aren't we? We really are. It's gonna be crazy. All right. Well, into the pink room. How far along are we here? Oh, didn't mean to do that. How far along are we? Wow. We only have seven rooms left? That's crazy. All right, everybody. Well, I'm being told we're probably about halfway there, which means that in order to make this about a four episode or just like Confusing Cubes 2, we'll wind it down right here, but stay tuned for the next episode. This is plural. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and follow on Twitch to catch them live. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time around. QualityContent.com, hit it up.